got the Jacobean stag. I know a lot of you wanted to see this. It was quite unanimous in the voting. So to start with, we're going to be preparing the linen, putting it on the hoop and getting it ready to start. So we're going to be using Philippa's clean film method to help protect the linen. So I'm going to leave you with Philippa's video to remind us all how to do it. This is a seat frame, which is a wonderful thing. You can either sit on it, side saddle and stitch away, or put it between your legs, underneath the fattest part of one thigh and swivel it round and stitch like this. This keeps you very centred and keeps your shoulders level. I'm going to show you now how to set it up. First of all, you take the size that you want for your embroidery. There's an at 10 inch and 8 inch and a teeny weeny 6 inch, which is fabulous for tension and for doing very tight, small designs. So I've chosen to use the 8 inch hoop and I'll show you how my cling film technique works very well on all embroidery. First of all, you take the roll and measure out a square and then pop it over your work. Now, this will cover any embroidery that you've already done so that when I put the outer frame over the inner frame it won't catch the embroidery. First of all, you put your outer frame down on the table. Then cover that with cling film, or in America it's I think called saran wrap or food wrap, but any plastic will do. And of course, this is a great way of recycling plastic you don't want anymore. Now, I want to stitch this particular leaf. So I'll put the point of that leaf away from me and that will go just inside the perimeter of the frame. Now I need to check that I'm revealing the leaf that I want to stitch. So if I can find that again, that is this one here. And I'm just going to rotate it round so that the tip of the leaf points away from the screw on the outer frame. So now I'm just going to pop that down and sometimes you might need to loosen the outer frame slightly and then you pop the inner frame inside it and just push this down firmly. Now, if you have weak wrists or you find that this is a problem, you need to just take the paddle and just push this down like so. And that's much, much easier than using your hands because basically your hands are your most precious tool. Then you turn your frame the right way up, pop it in the seat frame, and there we go. I'm ready to take my embroidery scissors, cut out the area I want to stitch, and here we go. So there is the finished hoop ready to start stitching tomorrow.